Let's see. What should we talk about today? Let's see if I can think of a good book to maybe recommend to you guys. Uh, here we are. Yeah, this one. Hello, I'm Evan Day with another Fandom Friday, and this week I'm going to give you a book review uh, for a book I found pretty interesting several years ago when I first read it, uh, Monster Blood Tattoo, Book One, Foundling by D.M. Cornish. It is a book that I would recommend to somebody who's interested in a very unique and detailed world building uh, in their fantasy. The world is called The Half Continent that Mr. Cornish has created, and as you can see as I open up to the front of the book, here we have a map, which is not uncommon for a fantasy book, but there are several such maps, and the detail and the uh, attention to the design and the logic of this world is so painstakingly done. Uh, you can really lose yourself in there, and as you can see, move into the next page, gives you a nice little legend to sort of understand. We just sort of zoom in on a particular part of the map. Well, in this world of the half continent, the character that we are focusing on is a young boy named Rosamund Bookchild, who has just been given the job uh, as an apprentice, as a lamplighter. That is, he goes up and down uh, roads, lighting the lamps at night so people can see, and then dousing them in the morning. Uh, a rather boring job, perhaps, but also fraught with danger, because in this world, there are monsters, all sorts of monsters. And uh, it is in the job of certain people who are tasked with killing these monsters, and they are given uh, special surgeries with unique powers. Uh, here, you see, again, another example of the artist's, the author's artwork. Even minor characters will get uh, pages and illustrations like that. I don't know, this is a pretty important character, Europe. She is a monster hunter that Rossman runs into on his travels, and uh, she's a pretty cool character. She has powers, you know, she's, again, been in, had sort of organs installed in her that give her the, these abilities to, uh, like, fire lightning and such. Uh, very, very cool. And she sets uh, Rossman on a slightly different path than the one that he was thinking of, but he has to decide who does he follow. And again, you see uh, examples of monsters that are drawn in here, lots of really creepy and cool illustrations. And then here in the back, you, you may, might be thinking, oh, it's, it's page 312 and the book's over, but there's almost 100 pages left. Well, yeah, we, hit an, we get an appendix that has like a full 100-page glossary, uh, explanations of how words in this universe are pronounced, a 16-month detailed calendar. And again, the fun thing about the glossary is not only does it tell you the uh, you know definitions of all these various words that you'll find in this world, but it gives you a little background stuff. It's a very clever way to sort of introduce history and uh, detail to this world. I love just paging through it. It's just amazing how much work went into this uh, world. Anyway, you get to the back. We have a couple more illustrations of, of how somebody who was a navigator or a sailor might look there. Again, not just pictures, but actually like a detailed sort of diagrams of what all these various uh, pieces of equipment mean and the, 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 what these uh, coats designs are for. And here we have ship diagrams. Uh, it's just so much love and thought and work went into this. And if this is the sort of thing you like, if, you know, if you're into Tolkien-esque, very detailed world building, I would definitely uh, recommend you try this book out at least. Anyway, again, the book is called Monster Blood Tattoo, uh, book one, The Foundling. There are two sequels as well. came out in 2006, and uh, it's, you know, it's one of the first books I sort of looked on when I became a young adult librarian. It sort of stuck with me over all these years. Anyway, uh, that's my uh, contribution for Fandom Friday this week. Uh, we'll see you next week with something totally new. Thanks for watching.